I have every single heirloom in the game. You name the legend, I already got it. I even have the prestige skins, which I think are still a little overpriced for what they are, but hey, they're in the game. And now what you guys are thinking, Tony, it's season 17. You just now got everybody's heirloom? There are people that have been playing since season 17 that don't, don't even have an heirloom. But don't worry, I got you guys, because today we are going to be doing an Apex Legends season 17 heirloom tier list. So before we start raiding, let's kind of go over, like, what am I looking for? What do I feel like I look for with an heirloom? All right, now everybody's going to have their own reason. You might like an heirloom because it's your favorite legend and that's the person you main. I'm the kind of person that's like, what am I getting with that heirloom besides its looks? I care about the amount of animations that are in there the inspects that are in there even some funny voice lines that might come with it but that's just how i look at heirlooms you guys might look at it differently so um don't get mad if i put your favorite heirloom somewhere that you just feel like it doesn't belong okay oh okay on to the first heirloom which is bloodhounds raven's bite now uh, this was my first heirloom that I got because I was using Bloodhound a lot and it was my main That was the reason I, I got him. But like I said uh, for what it offers. It's just I believe this is just the inspect This is the only inspect we get. Okay, that's it. This is all you're getting. Yeah, it looks great it Looks cool when you hit somebody with it. Okay now. We know I know that we have gotten some upgrades with like other heirlooms like wraiths Which we'll get to in a second where they upgraded the inspects animations voice lines all that stuff So we're actually kind of good that bloodhound is the first one because this is gonna set the tone this to me is C tier bloodhounds heirloom C tier I can already hear the crowd booing people thumbsing down the video stop it Make your own damn tier list. Okay? On to heirloom number two, which is Hope's Dusk or Hope's Dawn. Uh, this is Hope's Dawn, which is the recolor of the Wraith heirloom. I forgot to change it, but it's still pretty much the same thing. Just now it's got little orange around it. But you guys, this is what I was talking about. The inspect upgrades. Before, it used to just be her doing this. Kind of kind of just the same thing as Bloodhound. They're just kind of looking at it. It's an inspect. Now we get stuff like this. Look at that. Oh! That's an inspect. And now we have even crouching inspects. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to go through all the inspects, but there is one where she whips out. A yeah, there it is right here. This is what I'm talking about. Who I was then doesn't matter as much as who I am now. Her and Watson. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They've done a good job, all right? This used to be a C-tier heirloom. Now, it is being upgraded into the S-tier. I know you guys thought I was going to put it in A. I thought about it too, but no. It, it's it's S-tier now. It's an S-tier heirloom. So, Wraith mains rejoice. Hopefully, Bloodhound can get the same type of love in another event. I don't know. We'll see. Next up, we have Lifeline's Drumsticks, a.k.a. the Shock Sticks. Uh, same thing. Inspects. Pretty simple. Uh, she might do a little finger twirl with it or something like that. We'll see. Hold on. Yep, there it is right there. It's 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 definitely a little bit more unique, definitely personalized to her character, um, as opposed to just Bloodhound simply looking at his, they, them. Sorry, don't cancel me, guys. Uh, <laughs> getting hot in here. Uh, but you guys know what I mean. Uh, very unique. Now, the melee animations, very aesthetically pleasing, right? You hear the electro shock. You hit him with the shock sticks. Now, this isn't one of my most favorite heirlooms, but it definitely does uh, bring something a little bit unique to the table. So, Lifeline mains, I think that you guys might be very happy to find out where I'm putting this. Because it's going in the C tier still. It's all right. It's not better than Bloodhounds, but it ain't worse. Next up is Mirage's Too Much Wit, which is a trophy about him. Oh, isn't this thing just the cutest? Reminds me of me. Yep, and it's a it to me. It's it's a quite a unique heirloom. Okay, not to mention if you're lucky enough to get the rare animation, the melee animation, which is him beating you with a pork chop. But you know, him beating you up with the trophy is just is more than enough. I don't think I'm gonna get the, the pork chop melee animation, but um, the inspects are great. The voice lines are great. Look at this. I mean, come on. And he dropped it. Now, I know that at the time, there's a lot of people that are like, oh, Mirage's trophy 
uh, too much weight. Not very good. Doesn't really represent him. But, dude, you guys, Mirage is all about himself. He loves himself. Full of himself. And, like I said, uh, the heirloom does offer a little bit more. Even more than the Lifeline heirloom. More than the Bloodhound heirloom. So, that's going to put Mirage right at the B category. Okay? Just a little bit better. Not too crazy. I don't know. All, 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 the, all the heirloom elitists. Ah, oh, Tony, it's a terrible heirloom no you haven't seen terrible yet be quiet it's my tier list remember okay we're only on the fourth one there's like a whole roster to go through sit down comment down below and let me know what you guys think so far next up pathfinders boxing gloves um it fits him well all right he also had his own event the apex legends fight night event look at this That, wow, what a great, what a great inspect. That was, that was something. That, I, we watched the whole thing, chat. The, the punching gloves are funny, they're goofy. You know, melee animations, it, it is what it looks like. You know, he's, he's just beating you up with a punching, the punching gloves, boxing gloves. My downside, the downside of this heirloom, the difference between all the other ones, you guys see how much of the screen he's covering? His glove does take up a lot of your screen. You guys, look at look at how much screen he's taking. I know Pathfinder means might not agree with this, but it's it actually falls right under the D. Damn near F category. It might just not get it, but you know what though? I I'd, I'm gonna give it a D. It's not terrible, but it's pretty bad. Pretty bad. Next up we have Octane's butterfly knife. Now this butterfly knife, look at this. It's just, it's it's like the fidget spinner. It, and, and all Octane mains, they, this is their pride and joy, okay? Now, I know the same can be said for every legend in the heirloom, but no, Octane mains, they have this thing pretty damn close to their heart. Like, this is like, it keeps them going, bro. It's the juice. Look at this. He's probably going to stab himself. With it. He does. <laughs> yeah, you know? The butterfly knife being very clean. Um, I don't think there's another heirloom animation outside of this, okay? I'm not going to sit here and find out. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the melee animations. Uh, obviously, it's a butterfly knife, so he's stabbing you. He's hitting you all kinds of ways. It's right there at B tier. It's B tier, okay? Now, I know that we're looking at the C ranks, which is, like, to me, is the baseline, the foundation. But, to me, for what this heirloom has to offer, the sounds, the animations, what it looks like when it's running in your hand, the melee, all that good stuff, it still is above Raven's Bite and the Shock Sticks from Lifeline. Again, if you guys don't like it, <laughs> make your own damn tier so here we are at Gibraltar's War Club. Melee animations, let's go ahead and check those out. Oh, dude, look at that. Just getting beat up with like a lava, lava filled War Club. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the inspects together. Just the neck. It's time for war. He's going to get you. Do we have another one? Nope, that's the only one. Do we have a crouch one? Nope. Usually, the, like I said, these early on, there's early ones. Hey, they did it with Wraith, so I'm surely they're gonna. I'm sure they're gonna do it with every other legend, you guys. So rejoice if you don't have the heirloom now. At least you guys can have an opportunity to get the recolor of it with the new upgraded air inspects and animations. I'm gonna have to give Gibraltar's as cool as it looks, lava, all that stuff, the animation of him beating it on his arm. Uh, it's still a C tier to me. I like it, but I don't like it as much as the other two above them in the B category. Uh, Gibraltar's is, it's, it's a C. Next up, we have Bangalore's Cold Steel. Now, inspects. Pretty, pretty basic, not gonna lie. It's just a little knife, a little data knife here. Oh, oh, I might thought she was done. Do we have a crouching one? Do we have a crouch inspect? No, we don't. Oh, no, mm, kind of the same. I'm going to keep it real with you guys. When I got this heirloom for the first time, it was during the Bangalore Caustic Town Takeover event or whatever it was. Uh, I was not excited as I thought I was when I until I finally got it in my hands. Now, when I when they, they made it look really cool in the trailer. You know, that's their job to sell it to you. But, you know, I will give them that, that it's actually one of the cleaner looking ones because it is a data knife. Look at this thing. Oh. It's still pretty boring though. Okay, 
melee animations are cool. I don't really play Bangalore as much. I'm not, not, not being biased on it, but I'm just saying that because maybe because I don't play her enough, I don't maybe have an appreciation for the heirloom. But definitely just for the inspects that it has, the, it's not. It's just not really as exciting as I thought. It is clean. If you're a diehard Bangalore main, this might just be perfect for you. Comment down below and let me know, Bangalore mains. Do you think that this heirloom is perfect? All right, is the cold steel, is this the one or should it have been something else? I don't know. I think it fits great. I think it's great. But just because I'm saying what I'm saying does not mean that I'm not enjoying the heirloom. But this heirloom is going to be in B tier. But not, it just hasn't hit that mmm, that mmm. Bruh. And I think we might be getting into one right now. Next up is Revenant's Dead Man's Curse. Dead, dead, dead. You can, you do. Dead Man's Curse, which is basically a scythe. Look at this thing, bro. Look, I, I know for a fact when the trailer came out for this one, it was amazing. Uh, it looked really good, first of its kind. It, the animations were really cool already, but the inspects. It's kind of, it, this, this fits Revenant. Look how scary this is. This. Look at this. I don't want to say scary. It's just really cool. Dark. It just fits Revenant's personality, his character, so well, okay? Melee animations, great. To me, Revenant's heirloom is better than the other ones. So that's why Revenant will be our first heirloom in the A category. I think this heirloom tier list is starting to shape up pretty well. Next up, we have Caustic's Death Hammer. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Mmm. When he hits you with it also, he, oh, gas comes out too. Gas comes out. Look at this. Ugh. The attention to detail for Caustic's Death Hammer. Mm -hmm. I mean, the inspects again, relatively simple also, but unique. Look at this thing. It's like a mini Caustic right, right in the back of the hammer. You know what I mean? And I know what you guys are thinking. Tell me, where is Caustic's Hammer going to go? It's going to be right at there at B tier for me. It's not that much better than Revenant, but it is a little bit better than the other ones right before before it. Yeah, I feel really good about that position. Next up, we have Rampart's Problem Solver. Now, this is her wrench. A lot of people made fun of this one. They were like, oh, you want Rampart's heirloom and spend a, instead of spending $160, why don't you go to Home Depot and get it? They're not wrong. However, what they are wrong about is what you get with it. Not to mention the inspect animations. Let's go with this. Yo. Going down fools makes me a bit peckish. It's also it's a gum it's a gum dispenser also. Look at this thing. It's not just a wrench, you guys. It's a problem uh, solver. Yeah. Okay. Oh, what you measuring with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Mm, my favorite flavor. Your mom's tears. <laughs> and yeah, again, there is no other heirloom that is going to tell you that their favorite flavor of gum is your mom's tears, okay? A little bit of a hot take. A lot of you guys are going to get upset. That's up there with S tier. All right, so next up, we have Watson's Energy Reader, a.k.a. the Walmart ga gun scanner. The Walmart, the Walmart scanner. Just the thought of you getting beat down by this thing is just, it's just too much. It's funny. It's, it's hilarious. It's a little bit trolly, okay? But let's go ahead and also find the animations. Let's go ahead and look at the animations. So... She's gonna play a game. That's pretty cool. It's cute. It's great. Um, the ultimate pride and joy, though, of this uh, is when she pulls out Nessie. Yep. And there's Nessie. Look at. Look at the Nessie. Look at it. And that's great. Okay, Watson's heirloom, it's an A. It's an A, it's all right, it's an A. I think the Nessie's carrying it for sure, but it, it's an A. Next up, we have Crypto's Obi-Wan by one blade. It's a by one blade. I just like to call it the Obi-Wan blade because it reminds me of a lightsaber because it's a sword. Crypto, now, this thing's the first, first of its kind. It's a sword. Look at this thing. It's playing, it's like lightsaber training. Literally like a Padawan. How is this not like like Star Wars? I don't know. Oh, look at this. Secret handshake, too. With this drone. So where does that put that? Well, Crypto's heirloom, it's S tier. So for as much as I don't like him as a legend, the heirloom is great. Next up, we have Valkyrie's Spear, the Suzaku... Su su what, what is the name? It is called the... Oh, yeah. The Suzaku. <coughs> it's a spear. You can hold it when you fly. 
That was something that I thought about when, before it came out during the trailer. You can hold it when you fly. You can hit with it. You can stab with it. And as for the inspects, she got little cool tricks, kind of like a hockey player. Okay, that's a shout out to all the hockey players out there. A little, little puck juggling, a little puck dancing. But the most important inspect, okay, all the Titanfall heads. Uh, Sorry, Dad. It's a tribute to Viper. For a new legacy now. Mine. Remember, we put that bullet in the helmet. Anyways, something even better than that, though. Even better than that, that people just aren't talking about when we talk about Valkyrie's heirloom. This. This is what we're... A bowl of ramen. But how she finished it so quick is what the biggest question that we need to ask, okay? Has not been answered. Where does that rank Valkyrie's heirloom? Valkyrie's heirloom, it's S tier. S tier, it's great, okay? You paid off, you paid off the tribute for the Titanfall people. You gave us a gulp gulp 9000 with the, with the ramen bowl. The heirloom looks cool when you're flying. It looks cool when you're hitting people. It, it's, it's just great. It's great, 10 out of 10. Great investment. If you're a Valkyrie main, get that damn air. Next up is Loba's heirloom, which is Garra de Alanza. I don't even know if I said that right. You guys tell me if I... It's, it's a collapsible fan, you guys. It's a fan with blades. Look at this thing. Mm. Mm. Oh, she just slapped him. Oh, it's a great fan. Uh, and I'm going to be as uh, unbiased as possible because this is Loba. And she is my favorite legend to just... just trying to... I, know, I get it. I know you want me to put it high up there. Okay, look, it's a great, it's a great heirloom. Look at her; she's fanning herself. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the inspects. Looking at her nails, she's gonna file her nails. Of course, she's gonna spin the fan. Why wouldn't she? Oh, a oh, it's a magic trick. I'm a liar. How have I not seen this one? And now it's, and now it's gone. Crouching inspect. Ooh, look at this. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. We can walk around with a mask. When is this? When is this gonna be efficient? I wouldn't be able to tell you guys how she would love to get revenge on <laughs> Mr. Revenant, you know, because he killed her parents. But you know, Loba's heirloom. If we take out the shake that she gave me earlier, um, it's great for inspects. Melee looks awesome when you run with it. You got a cool mask as an inspect. It's still to me, it's gonna be S tier. Okay, it's it's a great heirloom. I think that this is a great spot for Loba's heirloom. Next up, we're on Sears heirloom, which is the Showstoppers. All right, let's go ahead and check out the Showstoppers melee animations. Pretty great, pretty cool. All right, you know, just getting hit with two two blades basically. But let's go ahead and check out his inspects, you guys. He's got yeah, he just kind of shows it off. They're sickles, if you guys didn't know what the weapons are. They're called sickles. And of course, there is one where he draws. I'm trying to see if we can get it. Oh, we good. Okay, cool. He can draw a few things. Let's go ahead and see what he draws on this one. Oh, 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 moving on. The last heirloom we have, Ash's Nunchucks. Oh yeah, no, I get it. You guys, where's Horizon's heirloom? I don't know. Ash came out in season 11 and five seasons later, heirloom. Horizon came out season seven, 10 seasons later, F you. You know what I'm saying? Anywho, here are her Nunchucks, which I don't think make any sense, okay? As this is the last one. This just it doesn't make any sense. It looks cool. Don't get me wrong. It really looks cool to get beat by this thing. Look at it. It it's clean. What da -da! What da -da! What da -da! I don't know why I'm making those sounds, but you know, here we are. Okay. Let's see what we got for inspects. Another tool I have mastered. It's alright. Let's go ahead and see if what her crouching inspect is. You are a hindrance. You hear Dr. Reed in the background? I mean, and outside of the nunchuck inspects, I could have sworn there's one where she gets a funk. There it is. Hi, best girlfriend. This is your robot friend, Pathfinder, saying hi. Because I wanted to remind you that I care about you. That's what friends... Ugh, utter nonsense. She cut him off! Hot take, again. To me, it's, it's, it's alright. I just don't think it's it's B. I just don't think it really fits her. Oh, I have somebody screaming at me. Tony, but what about the rat? Oh, there he is. Hmm? Oh. Oh. 
Aww. Oh, the rat. They're like Tony, but the rat. <sighs> Fine. I'll move it up one. A. It does offer more than the other ones. And then, of course, all that's left, you guys, are the Mythic skins. Um, I'll go ahead and give a quick speed run on where I think just based on how they look and what they offer, you guys. I'm not going to go into too much detail. Uh, but obviously, the recolor, um, it's it's S tier. It's really good. It's worth it, in my opinion. What sucks is that they're two completely different things. So if you can get one or the other, you guys, get the recolor. Um, Bloodhounds, I don't really like it. This is straight. I would pick Pathfinder's Heirloom over this. In fact, I would pick most heirlooms over the Prestige skins. Reason why is simply because you can actually see your heirlooms while you're playing. You can't see the Prestige skins unless you're hitting a finisher on them. And even if you hit the Prestige skin finisher so you can get your value out of that. Because so, you need to do 100,000 damage to even maximum finish that. For a lot of you guys that are diehard, play this game a lot, have a, have a, a dedicated main whether that be Bloodhound, Bangalore, Wraith, or Caustic, that's no problem. Go for it. Hey, that's for you. But for the average person, there are still some people, 17 seasons later, who don't even have an heirloom. Bangalore's heirloom, same thing. Eh, I don't really like the suit. Wraith, Wraith though, that's S tier. That is a clean prestige skin. Caustic's as well, it's all right. I'm gonna actually go ahead and give it a B tier only because the second skin kind of looks like the third skin the, the second level sorry looks like the third level that's pretty much it for the apex legends season 17 heirloom tier list if you guys agree or disagree comment down below and let me know what you guys would change differently obviously i'm a jokester so if you guys made it this far don't take it personal or let or tell people in the comment section to calm down you know what i'm saying also if you made it this far when horizons heirloom does come out make sure you tune into when i live stream or put a post up in my discord link in the descriptions down below because i only 20 people to compete for horizons heirloom you don't have to pay to enter just subscribe and join and show up when i announce it and yeah that is it thank you guys all for watching and i'll see you guys on the next video